welcome back to Neetha's Indulgences. In today's video, we are cooking up something spicy and delicious. If you love pole flavors and a bit of heat, then you are in for a treat. These dishes are easy to make and full of color. So, what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. Our first dish is green chilli paneer. Green chilli paneer is spicy, tangy and has bold flavours. It's a perfect starter. I'm going to cut paneer lengthwise and then we'll start the next process. Add 2 tablespoons of corn flour to a clean plate, a pinch of red chilli powder and salt. Give this a good stir. Uh, now we'll toss in 200 grams of paneer. Lightly coat them. Let's keep this aside and start the next process. I'm going to be making a green chutney for our paneer. So let's get going with that. Roughly chop two green chilies, maybe a handful of coriander leaves, and spring onions. So we have three green items, your spring onion, your coriander leaves and green chilies. All green. Add some salt and a dash of water. We'll shallow fry the paneer pieces now. Add some olive oil, not too much, just a little bit. Time to add our coated paneer. So lightly toast the paneer, you don't have to really deep fry the paneer. I mean we have not used really that much oil. So I always like to shallow fry the paneer. Now we are done with the frying of the paneer, let's take them out. Yummy! So in the same oil we are going to toss in a lot of veg veggies and uh, and we are going to make some sauce and then we are going to toss in the paneer. So I am going to add 1 teaspoon of ginger, minced ginger. 1 teaspoon of minced garlic. I have added more. More than 1 teaspoon so you can adjust as per your liking. I have taken uh, yellow and green capsicum just to give it a colour. I like my capsicum to be crunchy so I'm not going to overcook my capsicum. Time to add our onions. Okay, give this a good stir. Time to add in our sauces. One tablespoon of green chilli sauce. One teaspoon of soy sauce. One teaspoon of vinegar. Lovely. Time to add in our green chutney which we ground. Combine all this really well. So it's because of this green chutney that it gets its colour and that's why it's called the green chilli paneer. Time to add our fried paneer. We're going to toss in the paneer and all the gravy. Coat it really well. Now look at that. We have the perfect colour. So a delicious green chilli paneer is ready. It's a perfect starter for any get together or any occasion. Our second dish is red chilli paneer. It's a fiery dish with paneer tossed in a red chilli sauce. I'll start with cutting the paneer. Um, today I'm just trying to cut differently. So let me try a triangle shaped paneer. Wish me good luck guys. We are going to start with the frying of paneer and capsicum. Add olive oil. 
this is just to fry our capsicum and paneer add our triangle shaped paneer it's looking so nice i'm going to add some capsicum red capsicum and some yellow capsicum so frying these onion capsicum and paneer separately gives adds another level of flavor add some chili powder adding in a pinch of salt you're going to transfer this to another plate the color is so amazing in the same pan add some oil you can use olive oil or refined oil the choice is completely yours add 1 teaspoon minced ginger 1 teaspoon of minced garlic add one chopped onion i have taken two green chilies you can reduce the spice as per your liking add some salt add some curry leaves i'm going to add in a tablespoon of tomato paste you can use ketchup if you don't have tomato paste give it a good stir now we are going to add in a teaspoon of dark soy sauce and some red chili powder add in a dash of water time to add our fried paneer combine everything really well season with a little salt garnish with spring onions two different flavors and that's a wrap our red and green chili paneer are ready and they are packed with spicy and tangy flavors if you're a fan of spicy dishes then these are a must try don't forget to hit that like button and do share with your friends and family until next time take care bye bye